Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Takes a second to kick on here. We have no countdown, but we are live. Type one in the chat when you're able to see me and hear me. Type one in the chat. We're getting right into it. No five minute countdown. Very excited for this night tonight. A thousand of you already in the broadcast. This is absolutely crazy. Already a thousand people. Let me pause my stream. Okay, let's go. One's flying aggressively through the chat. We are gonna get started in literally one minute. One minute countdown for all you guys to jump in. We have over a thousand people watching on YouTube and Facebook already. This is the brand new episode of The Chosen just released literally one minute ago. And as you can see, the opening scene says viewer discretion or well, parental discretion is highly advised. So the opening scene may be sensitive. Let me move my head. For some viewers, parental discretion is highly advised. So I don't know what the opening scene is, but we know it's been leading up to something powerful. Last week was part one, and this is a part two. I think it's an hour long. And whoo, I'm excited. Share it on your platforms. Type in the comments what you're drinking, what you're eating. Uh, again, for the opening scene, parental discretion is advised according to The Chosen. I don't know what it is, but we're going to see. So maybe, maybe put it on your phone for a minute until we start it and make sure your kids aren't, you know, scared or something like that. I don't know what it's going to be. YouTube says live in 23 minutes. Oh no, we're live right now. We're live right now. Share the broadcast. Thank you guys for praying for me. I was sick Thursday night, Friday night. I had 103 fever on Thursday night, 101 fever on Friday night, and then Saturday the fever broke. I felt like I fell out of the back of a Amazon Prime two-day delivery truck. I literally felt so bad, but I feel a lot better today. And we're gonna be live tomorrow. For the 1,000, 1,500 of you in here, we'll be live tomorrow night with Bible study verse by verse, six o'clock Pacific. So all of you chosen lovers, come back tomorrow at six o'clock Pacific. We're gonna be going over the woman at the well, John chapter four and five. So don't miss that tomorrow at six o'clock and the Tuesday podcast, six o'clock right here on YouTube. So mark your calendars right now, tomorrow on YouTube, we're gonna be live. All right, are you guys ready? Let's jump right into it. Let's go, I'm excited. Let's start it up. Oh, let me make sure I have the volume on for you guys. All right, here we go. This episode opens with a scene that may be sensitive for some viewers. Parental discretion is strongly advised. Ooh, that's intense. Here we go. Chosen, season three, episode five. Ladies and gentlemen, be excited. We'll be live tomorrow at six o'clock with verse by verse book of John. Be back. Be back here. I heard that. That doesn't sound good. It's never good in the third watch of the night. There's too much blood. The cloth is absorbing it too fast. I have nothing left to stop the flow. Pull the sheets off the bed. Stand on her stomach, contract her womb. <laughs> Parental discretion advised if you missed it. That's it. sad opening scene if you want the chat to go away on your end let me say it if you want the chat to go away on your end you need to minimize it in the YouTube app there's no chat on my screen 
So if your chat's on screen and you want to get rid of it, you got to hit the chat button in your YouTube app or on your YouTube video. Sad. That, that was not the one with the issue of blood. That was Eden, and she lost her baby. Yes, the chat that's on screen is on your YouTube app. You have to click the thing to minimize it. All right, here we go. It took everything just to get her breathing again. So? I'm sorry. What do you mean? My heart has weakened. I don't believe I can do anything more. Oh, no, no. No, no, nearly, my love. Please, just breathe, my child. Please, just breathe. Just breathe. Jairus. Just breathe. Yes. Come with me. Oh, my child, please. please. I know this is painful, but I believe arrangements need to be made. I'm afraid she won't make it much longer. Yes, of course. You know the tradition. Rabbi Judah has said even the poorest man in Israel must hire at least two flutes and one professional wailing woman for his disease. You simply tell me how many flutes and how many mourners you can afford, and I will make the arrangements for you. No. Jairus, I'm sorry, but... Please, don't do anything unless she dies. I'll be back soon. Whatever it is, you are right, and I'm sorry. Whatever it is? Yes. Did you sleep? Much better. More room to stretch. Nice not to have Thomas's feet a handbreadth away from my face. You could have reversed and slept with your feet towards the door like Thomas and I did. But then I'd have to wake up to his face and morning breath. Boys, don't start. You see? And he still claims that he's not jealous of me and Thomas's trip together. Again with this jealousy thing? You've been talking about it ever since Any we were from back. Thomas? I, he's probably not even made it to tell door yet, Abba. Oh, of course. His uh, intended, uh, Rema, she makes wine? Maid. She mostly just learns to read now. She's still a vintner, even when she's not making wine. Oh, that's right. She ran a business that required making things that taste good. She's got a great palate. Is she an honest woman? What in Israel? You do know she's with her Abba right now, don't you? Oh, right. How about the... Magdalene and Tamar, do you find them uh, trustworthy? I follow Jesus. That's enough. Is this becoming more than just a hobby? You have been spending a lot more time. And money. 
I sold the boat. What? Why did you do that? It's hard work. It, it was always hard. But now the merchants are up earlier. Is this because we left? <sighs> Boys. My father taught me how to fish. He fished his whole life. Raised six kids, went to synagogue two times a week, and died, waiting for the Messiah. Then I took over and turned this boat into a fleet. Raised you boys, fed a hundred families, went to synagogue, and waited for the Messiah till. Uh, I was old. Abba, you're not old. My legacy was waiting for the Messiah. As much as it was fishing. I only fished to make ends meet until you got your real jobs. Your whole lives led to this. I chose you! Now, I'm free to try something new too, right? Yes. Wish me luck. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to buy an olive grove. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> That's the olive oil man right there. Did he say an olive grove? I, I think. An olive grove. This shortcut isn't very short, is it? Uh, we're almost there. <clears throat> Thad. Now that Z's not a zealot, do you still think he feels murderous? You really do say anything that's on your mind at any time, don't you? Not anything. I say what I think other people are already thinking. I have strange thoughts, too. I do not share those. <clears throat> You're happy one now, aren't you? I don't know. Do you ever wonder if bats swim? What? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> why do you ask about Z? Because I saw Simon talking to a Roman officer yesterday. What, he was being questioned? No. Looked like they were having a stroll. Hey, Simon would never betray us. I know that, but it's strange to see him with a Roman. You know, because they attack us and tax us. Men like Matthew used to collect those taxes. Do you see what Jesus does to those who... Don't touch it. I know, I know. It's fresh. Is she dead? Who are you? 
What's happened? Did, did someone hurt you? No, I'm not hurt. You need a doctor? D does your head feel like... Can, can, can you see clearly? Listen, you don't have to help me. Go into town and get the doctor. No! Don't. I've wasted all my money on doctors. That... Maybe he could help. The master has not been out to the public. What are you talking about? We're followers of a rabbi. Very special one. A different kind of doctor. No. Different kinds of doctors only make things worse. She doesn't want this. It might not be safe right now. Sorry. Shalom. Wait! This rabbi of yours, you said he was special? The most. Is he the man who healed the paralytic at the pool of Bethesda? <laughs> and so many more. You know him? We're his followers. <laughs> Where is he now? Uh, I will talk to him and tell him clean, of course, but I just need a moment. And if he's the holy man they say he is, I, I don't need to waste his time. I could, I could just touch his garment. That's a superstition. Maybe for other holy men, but I'm not talking about other holy men. I'm talking about him. I've heard what he can do, and, and I saw him give his sermon. I'm talking about him, his garment. I understand. I'm unable to go to synagogue. My father disowned me. I've got no one. come all this way, and I've waited so long to meet him. You could help us, look. All right, it's I'm definitely funny. gonna I cry out the scene. I already know, it. man, I can feel it. Only to sell it again. Are you feeling sentimental when you negotiate the price? We got a pretty good deal, with the size and the trees in the ground. Dying trees. <laughs> Are they? Hmm. They're pitiful. If the trees are bad, then why are we doing this? It's within the budget we set. We're going to make the best of it. Mm. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> we need answers. You! Hey! Tamar. Why are these trees dying? It's my Abba. He's sick. He didn't tend to it. Hmm. See? The land's fine. Just needs caring for. Why didn't you do it? I was away. I got married. But you know how to grow olives. I grew up in this field. How much to teach him? What are you doing? Well, I have to look after my father. But I could stay on until next harvest for 70%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks anyway. 50. But I will work only one day a week for that. 30%, two days a week. And we don't pay, we have to replant any more than five of these trees. Deal. What just happened? Looks like you have a boss. I have a boss? More. Right here, easy. easy more, easy, more, more. Easy. There's a lot. Go more, 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 more. Easy. More. Easy. Getting closer, more. Okay. Easy. More, more, more. Easy. More, more. Easy. More, more, more. It's about to catch. Okay, now come inside and help me. Okay, I'm grabbing one side. Hold it. Okay. Easy. Hold it, hold it. You got it. Got my side. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Easy! Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. We got it. Ah. Oh, sticks. Were you not supposed to touch me? Yeah, that may be true. <laughs> Don't you refer to us as dogs or something? What do you call us dogs? And among other things, rats, vermin. You didn't drink from my flask last night. You acted like I had offered to kiss you or something. Kissing or drinking from the same vessel is not the same as working together to solve a public health crisis that affects both of our communities. 
The friendship you never expected. <sighs> All right. So, are we allowed to? Messer Ayuro da Gatin in the universe to grace the fruit of the vine. It didn't work, by the way. What? Telling her she was right. Uh, did you mean it? Or are you just saying it to placate her? There is an art to this sort of thing. I don't even know what I did. How could I mean it? I tried to make it sound sincere. <laughs> Son, it doesn't work if you don't know what you're conceding, no matter how sincere. Is there another woman? No. Are the kids all right? We don't have kids yet. Well, you shouldn't be taking marriage advice from me anyway, that's for sure. You offered it. I just meant that that line has worked for me many times. Come on, let's get back to it. Oh. Shovel. Ladies, I'm just going to tell you now, we can't read minds. What about you? You have kids? Uh, two. Well, uh, two children in the house. My son and a servant boy. The same age. They're friends. Child slavery. And you wonder why people find you this day spent. His mother worked for us, and she died giving birth, and we raised him as our own. Is that so barbaric? His other options would have been far worse, I assure you. No, oh, your merciful kindness is dazzling. You deserve a medal. It was just a joke. It's not funny. Do not make light of my situation. Situation? Just shovel. Fine, I went too far. I don't want metal. I want... <clears throat> what? Let's just keep going. Maybe we can have this cleared by lunch. We're gonna need a mason for reassembly. You know one? Yeah, I might. Someone said, can we silence the sound of Isaiah? Yes, just go to the Chosen YouTube channel and go watch it there. There's no Jarvis? Isaiah there. Are you all right? I don't have time for your pity. What? It's my daughter, Neely. She had a horrible episode in the night. She's dying. I'm looking for information on healing. Your daughter is... Yes. Take me to him. You know of whom I speak. I need him now. I don't know where he is. You have an idea? You know people who know. These men often don't know where he is. But I will take you to them. How can you be sure? I'm not. But I saw him with Jesus at Matthew's house, and the house of Zebi. Andrew, son of Jonah, this is an emergency. Open up. On synagogue authority. Andrew, are you there? Andrew! Andrew! Oh, who are you? I'm new here. I'm the Capernaum synagogue ruler. I must speak with Andrew's rabbi. He's my rabbi too. <sighs> Take me to him. I don't know where he is. And even if I did, I wouldn't be at liberty to disclose Shalom. My daughter's name is Neely. She's 12 years old, and her eyes are closed right now. But not forever. It cannot be forever, do you hear me? I'm, I'm very sorry. If you have blood in your veins, you must help me. Look, all I can tell you is that you might consider asking Andrew's brother.
He's back. At the house? Just this morning. And now to the breaking of my fast. I thank you, Eden. Of course. Wait, you fasted while you were away? No, just overnight. Eight hours. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Mm. Eden, these pickled cucumbers are magnificent. You know, Rabbi, I didn't mean to ask you about fasting. Thing I'm very happy not to be doing right now. John required us to fast at regular intervals. He said the sacrifice of fasting is integral to any serious commitment to God. And yet, you've never once asked any of us to fast. Oh, there was the time on Shabbat where we ate the head of grain, but we were just hungry. That wasn't intentional fasting. What are you getting at? Well, the Pharisees fast all the time. Make a big scene out of it, disfiguring their faces. If it's such a big deal to them, and they find out we don't do it, I don't know, don't you think they could possibly weaponize that against us? Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days are coming. The bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast. Taken away? Hold that thought. When you fasted before, what did you pray for? Your arrival. Right, so what would be the point now? Exactly. Eden, do you have any wine fermenting right at the moment? Uh. Yes, in the back room. Little James, can you please take down that empty wineskin? Sure. Ooh, I feel a lesson coming. <laughs> Eden, when you last checked on the wine, what was it doing? What it always does at this stage. Um, sort of bubbling, popping out little plumes of air now and then. James, how does that wineskin feel? Uh, stiff. Not very flexible. So if Preach. Eden were to put her new wine into that container, what would happen? I don't know. The old leather can't stretch anymore. The new wine would keep expanding and it would explode. And so new wine must be put into fresh wine skins. I'll be the first one to admit that. I don't, I don't get it. The waves of the kingdom I am bringing into this world will not fit into old containers or frameworks. Being revolutionary is fun. <laughs> Those are some of his followers. That's Simon's house. So John made you fast as he preached a message of repentance. And you will again when I'm gone. But as I'm here preaching a message of salvation, now is not the time. I still want to know what you mean by gone. What did we miss? Shalom, Rabbi. This is him. Shalom, Yusuf. I know you. Do you? Stand with me. And I have read, I have read accounts from...
from someone I trust. You do miracles, right? You are a healer? Of more than just physical maladies, yes. Please. My daughter is dying. I'm so sorry. But come. Come and lay your hands on her. And she will live. You've never met me. Yet you have this much faith that I can heal your daughter. I know you. Please. Take me to her. Oh, the cry music started. I feel it. You have a religion? Uh, who, me? No, the Romans. You have uh, gods, festivals, no? Yeah, sure. But not anything like you. Just parties, auspices. We have parties too. <laughs> From what I can tell, they do not look as fun as ours. Depends on their definition. Another thing we have is prophecies. So I'm told. I'm not beginning to think I'm living in one. What, with the preacher? No, uh, this. Our prophet, Jeremiah, he said, my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed out cisterns for themselves. Broken cisterns, they can hold no water. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a riddle. You know, you'd make a good Jew. We love riddles. We call those ones metaphors. So have you? What? I mean, forsaken your god of water. It sounds like your god identifies as a source of water, and the broken cisterns are a sign that you turn your back on it. We only have one god of water, fire, wind, and everything else. That's efficient, maybe a little boring. It's a lot easier than the Pantheon. It's not that hard to keep track of. Jupiter, Juno, Mars, Mercury, Neptune, Venus, Apollo, Oh, right, Diana. right, right, stop. I'm exhausted already. Well, sacrifices to all of them. It depends on what you want. I mean, uh, safe travel, Mercury. Victory in war, Mars. Fertility, Juno. Big catch of fish? Neptune. Peace in the relationship? <sighs> Vesta, goddess of hearth and home. Oh, what's going on? Where are you going? The preacher. They say he's going to do a miracle. Even you should be there. Let's James, go. Joseph, who is this? We don't know any more than you do. Come on! Make room. Guys, make sure you share the broadcast. We're almost at 3,000 people. Come back, I promise. I promise. Give us some space. Give us some space. Give us some space. Give us some space. Come on, back. I promise you. Come on, back. Let us go. Let us go. Everyone, I'm pressing down the rope ahead. Please. Let us go. Everyone, make room. What's going on? Simon's house. We need to get through. Come back. Come back. Our rabbi is a fresh It's him. It's your rabbi. 
stay here. A rabbi has a pressing matter ahead. Promise you will come back and see you. Stay back, stay back, everyone. No, no, no. Please, no. Oh, no. Hundred. Hundred. Just a fringe. One touch. Just a fringe. One touch. One thread. One thread. Just, just the edge. Only a thread. You! I know you! Get away from him! Stop it, please! Rabbi Yusuf! Rabbi Yusuf! This woman bleeds. She is unclean. We removed her. Please, please. I, I promise I won't touch him. I, I just need oh, woman, to... please. We can help you, but not now. Sorry. Try tomorrow. Oh, please, just a moment. Just Skype. Everybody back. Back, back. I asked the question. Who touched me? Master, the crowds are pressing in all around you like this, and you're asking who touched you? They all have. Someone touched me. I felt that power went out of me. Whoever touched me, come forward, teacher. It was me. Just the fringe of your garment, only the edge, I promise. You are not unclean. Why my garment? I'm sorry. I, I know I should have asked. But if, if you touched me, it would make you ritually unclean according to the law. I, I was sick. I was sick for 12 years. I bled and, and, and no one could stop it. But but I believed if I could just touch a piece of your garment. <laughs> and I was right. I was right. Thank you. Who told you I could heal? A man from the pool. <laughs> and he was right. The blood has ceased. My daughter. I'm no one's daughter anymore. Look up. Yes, you are. Daughter. It wasn't my piece of clothing that healed you. But it was instant. I felt it right away. I know, but it wasn't this. It was your faith. Jesus. Teacher, she was bleeding so long. We can take her. She is clean.
You have blessed me today. And I know... My daughter, I know it has been a fight for you for so long. You must be... exhausted. Go now in peace. Your faith has made you well. I wish I could stay here longer. But I have business to attend to. Someone else has faith like yours. But I'm so glad that we found each other. Please, I promise I will speak to all of you soon. And my students and I will care for your needs. But right now, there's something very important that I must do. And I kindly ask you to let me go so I can take care of this urgent issue. I promise I will see you. But right now is not possible. Thank you for your understanding. See, you stay back and help them back to their tents. My allergies are acting up in here, y'all. Oh, that was so good. My heart is pounding out of my Daniel, chest. Thad, and Philip. Make sure no one bothers her. Simon, Big James, Anybody John. else have allergies? Type one in the chat. Come with us. I'm like sweating. That was so good. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Do you have everything you need? I could use an egg. A what? Can we borrow a knife? A knife, yes, sir. <laughs> Looks like I indeed came to the right man. Well, between you and her, it's quite that a big deal. That was my favorite fate. scene so far in all three seasons. Just up ahead. Mm. Do you hear that? No. What is this? Teres, while you were gone. No. Why do I hear mourners and flutes? I said not to do that. She Your was sick. Your daughter passed away. We had to make arrangements quickly. No. No. I went to find the teacher. He was going to heal her. I know who you are. Let's not trouble him anymore. Michal is with Nelly's body. No! No! I was kidding, Jesus! I went as fast as I could. Do not be afraid. Only believe. She will be well. Jairus. Jairus! Let's go in. Please stay here. We will. She will be well. All of you, stop it. I said stop. What are you doing? There's a girl. She's dead. Go away. For she isn't dead, but sleeping. Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> what is all this laughing? He said she's only asleep. What a cruel thing to say. Do you know who you're talking to? If you were a member of the family, I would invite you in to see just how dead she is. What are you, a necromancer? Shame on you for saying such a ridiculous thing. Everyone out. You heard him. Boys, take everyone outside. Right. We were paid to play. Ah. 
You listen to me right now! Come, let's give them a moment. Michal. Where were you? I was finding this man. She is dead and you were gone. Why would you just leave us like this? Trust me. Please trust me and trust him. For what? For what? Please. 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 I know. I know. this room, please listen to me carefully. Simon, James, John, Jairus, Michal, and Nili. None of you are to say a word about this to anyone under any circumstances. Do I make myself clear? No one. Not even to the others. Yes, Rabbi. Yes, Rabbi. Yes, Rabbi. It is not yet time for the commotion that will result. None of you need the attention. Not all of it will be good. Whatever you command, we shall do. Neely, you must be hungry. <laughs> How can I thank you? I don't understand what you did, but... You're welcome. Let's just get Neely something to eat first. Oh, wait. <laughs> Neely, come on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There are no other words. Thank you. Thank you for your faith. I pray that more in the synagogue will share it. Come. Wow. Woo. This is the best episode so far, y'all. I'm like sweating over here, man. This is so good.
I don't know what may or may not have happened in there. So good. But did you touch a corpse? Go see for yourself. I've also just been told you touched a woman who was bleeding. She wasn't bleeding anymore. How could you know for sure? Are we really having this conversation? You've got no right to question him. You and anyone you have touched are ceremonially unclean until sundown and must carry out the rituals of purification. And what are your intentions if that doesn't happen? I will write a letter to the Sanhedrin reporting you. A letter. <laughs> <laughs> Who among you touched either me or the woman who was formerly bleeding? Raise your hands. Come with me, and let's get the others. You there! Did I make you unclean? Did the priest send you? He thinks he did. We just wanted to go for a swim. Oh, I love this. It's so wholesome. <laughs> we were looking for you. Yes, to see how you're doing. Thank you. I, I know I disturbed you. Ah, it was a welcome disturbance. My favorite kind. If you'll excuse me, I can't miss this. Twelve years. How did you survive? It's a long story. Good stories if we are. My father is dying right now from me. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Wow. What do I say about that episode? I'm like, I think I cried like two or three times. My eyes, my eyes. Type one if you cried or felt something. That was so, so good. I've watched season one, season two, and all of season three up until this point, And that was hands down the best episode ever. Hands down the best episode ever. Wow, that was so good. That was so good. I'm like, y'all, I'm sweating over here. I, I literally, my heart just, my heart pounds on those scenes. You just get in it. I got the headphones on. I'm fully immersed. Oh, it's so good. So good. Was that your guys' favorite scene? That was so, or favorite episode, period. Dallas Jenkins. I got to give you a thumbs up, man. 10 thumbs up for Dallas Jenkins. That was so good. The way they portrayed the scenes and Jesus and the whole thing was just, in my opinion, spot on. So, so good. 
Wow, I can't even talk about it. I'll start crying right here. But man, the woman with the issue of blood, the way they portrayed her was so good. Jairus' daughter. Whoo, that was amazing. 3,200 people in here. Guys, tomorrow night at, at uh, 6 o'clock Pacific, we're going to be going over the book of John verse by verse. We're going to be talking about the woman at the well. And in fact, I think I'm going to play the chosen scene of the woman at the well. That was my original favorite scene up until tonight was the woman at the well scene. But this woman with the issue of blood scene, all-time favorite scene in The Chosen so far. But I think tomorrow, after I preach the woman at the well, I'll play the scene. Just, you know, get it in our head here. But man, that was so good. Join me tomorrow night at 6 o'clock to go John verse by verse. Come on, it's Sunday afternoon. You get on here, watch The Chosen after church. Monday night, get home from work, get the kids together, open your Bible, and go verse by verse through the book of John with me. That's a good week, y'all. That's a good way to start the week. And then Tuesday, 6 o'clock, podcast about fasting starting the year right come on come on make sure that you're in here don't be don't be not in here i mean what what else do you have to do on a monday night but go through the bible verse by verse let's stretch ourselves this year let's challenge ourselves this year let's go hard for god this year guys we are disciples just like those disciples you watch that and you're like that would be amazing i love it you are that you are a disciple you have the same spirit that raised christ living on the inside of you you have the power to cast out demons to lay hands on the sick, to preach the gospel, to raise the dead. We've been given that power, John 14. Jesus said, the same works I do, you shall do, and even greater, because I go to the Father. So, A, sorry to all the cessationists out there. Sorry to all the religious people that don't like it. I didn't say it. Jesus said it in John 14, the same works I've done, you, can, you shall also do, and even greater. This is what he's talking about, y'all. We could participate in this this year. If you've never stepped out in the supernatural, if you've never stepped out and ministered, preached to anybody, cast out a demon, laid hands on the sick, discipled somebody, baptized someone. Um, listen, I'm going to say something that might change your life. You can baptize someone in your bathtub. You don't need to wait to get a degree. You don't need to wait until the once every three months baptisms at the church. You can baptize, you can disciple, you can have a prayer meeting in your living room. Tell your pastor, I said you can. You can have a prayer meeting in your living room where we watch this, we're like, oh, this is amazing. I wish I could be around then. But we have the same, we have the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God in us. They didn't even have the Holy Spirit yet. And we have the Holy Spirit, the power of God in us. So why sit around and act like we don't have this? Why sit around acting like Christianity is boring? It's only boring if you're doing it wrong. It's only boring if you're the religious people. I'm just telling you right now. Okay, the Pharisees are alive and well. Oh, Jesus doesn't heal today. God doesn't use people to cast out demons. Miracles aren't for today. The gifts of the Spirit left with the disciples. Come on, y'all. Why are you listening to that boring stuff? It's it's seriously boring. It's man-made. It's false doctrine. It's demonic, and it's boring. To tell us that the gifts of the Spirit, miracles, deliverance, and the power of God is not any longer for today is demonic. To say that is a false doctrine. Don't let the devil use you. I'm telling y'all, this is exciting and fun. Now, the religious people aren't on here because they don't, they, you know, they don't watch The Chosen. They're like, oh, The Chosen's bad. Uh, they're lined up to go watch the new Spider-Man. They're lined up to go watch the new Doctor Strange. They're lined up to go watch the new Avatar. But then they say, oh, The Chosen's bad. Don't watch The Chosen. It's not 100% exactly. It never claimed to be. It never claimed to be 100% exactly word for word the Bible. It's a depiction, okay, of the scripture. We're not, it's not a substitute. We're not here watching this and then we don't read the Bible. We read the Bible and we can watch this. They're both good, but this is not a substitute. This is not a Bible translation. So just put that in your religious pipe and relax, okay? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Today's the day. Don't live your life being a boring Christian. Don't live your life being religious. Don't live your life just at a funeral home. Go be a part of a move of God, a church that's on fire. I, I, don't, I don't know why some of you still listen to all of these preachers that talk you out of what Jesus talked you into. Jesus said we can do these things. The Bible says we can do these things. The book of Acts has no amen, has no ending. And why am I going to listen to a preacher tell me that, oh, this isn't, this isn't for today. What do you mean it's not for today? Is there no sick people today? Is there no demonized people today? Of course it's for today. The Bible never said it ended. Well, it ends with the apostles. They're not the gifts of the apostles. They're the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So how could the gift of the Holy Spirit end with the apostles when it's not the apostles' gifts? It didn't start with the apostles and it didn't end with the apostles. Okay, go ahead and make your video. Oh, Isaiah's a heretic. He believes in miracles. I, I do. I do believe it. 100%. I actually believe the Bible over some false teachers out here, okay? Yes, amazing episode. There's my rant. There's my mini sermon for you guys. 
put it in your heresy hunter videos y'all are y'all are dry on content so there you go what a good time tonight what a great episode we had 3400 people in here which is our biggest chosen stream awesome 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 i will, i wish you come back i hope you come back i'll say i wish you would but i'm hoping you'll come back tomorrow at six o'clock pacific time for the john verse by verse let's start this year off proper start the year off right start the year off proper and then tuesday night we'll have the podcast so we're live sunday monday tuesday and lord god willing friday and god willing tomorrow we don't know because the powers thank god the power didn't go out but our power went out three times yesterday they're saying our internet might go out for a few days i don't know we're just believing god we're working on the new studio we have almost all the equipment for the new studio and we'll be moving it all in on wednesday we'll start set up we're trying to get it done as soon as possible there's a lot of stuff to do we have an entire room full of cameras and lighting and we went and bought all the furniture a couple days ago and we're like going full in with this thing. We're at about, I think $45,000 so far on the new studio for the furniture, the sound equipment, the lighting. And someone bought all of the sound equipment, lighting, cameras. It was about 30, I think $2,000 for the lighting, the cables, the computer, the TV, the sound equipment, the cameras. Like one camera is like eight to 9,000. So that's how quick it adds up. and. Somebody sent $30,000. Thank you. You know who you are. I'm sure you're watching right now. We're going to do a GoFundMe. Before we even launch the GoFundMe, somebody sent in $30,000. They said God told them to cover the studio. So they covered all of the equipment. We just went and bought about $12,000 worth of furniture uh, two days ago. And that will all be getting delivered in about a week and a half. So we're starting to move everything and we're starting to build everything in this new studio. It's going to be exciting. I'm telling y'all. This is gonna be the best year ever. And I'm gonna I'm gonna write a book this year, y'all. I'm gonna do it. I feel it's only right that I and I feel like God wants me to write a deliverance manual for the first book. And then I'll just once I get one book down and I get the format, we'll be pumping them out, okay? But yes, hold me to it. We are gonna release a book this year. In Jesus' name, I'm praying, I'm believing. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So new studio, the book, a million subscribers, Lord willing. And of course, all the streams multiple times a week, all the other content ideas we have, and a lot of amazing stuff that you guys don't even know about yet that's coming. Just just know it's coming. Just stay a part of the community. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're on the thing. Guys, we are an army that is unstoppable for God. I'm telling you right now, this is just the very beginning of what God wants to do. We're three years in, and I really think we're barely scratching the surface. It's going to be a historic year. I really do believe that. Oh, and we have a full length deliverance documentary coming out that we're a part of march i'll give you the official date of the release march 13th march 13th that's a monday night 2000 theaters throughout the united states it's called come out in jesus name and it's going to be amazing and in fact the same people that put the chosen in theaters fathom is the one putting our movie in theaters 2000 theaters and if it does good they're going to put it internationally so once we get i think february 1st the tickets go on sale listen the moment the tickets go on sale, we're gonna blast it and let you guys know. So don't stress out about it. The moment the tickets go on sale, we'll let you know how to find the theater near you, how to get a ticket. And we wanna make sure that we have a month and a half of pre-sales. So we want us to get all these tickets sold, get you guys in the theaters, and we're gonna have mass deliverance after the movie in secular theaters, y'all. This has never happened before. This has never been done before. All glory to Jesus in theaters, 2000 theaters at the end, mass deliverance in the theater. So you're gonna have popcorn, you can get your popcorn, your icy, your drink, and then you can also vomit it up after. Don't eat too much popcorn because you might be throwing up when you get delivered at the end of the movie. But it's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be historic. So studio, full-length documentary coming out in theaters, book coming, all the good stuff. It's going to be a great year. Thank you, Lord. So yes, that's going to be, yes, it's going to be throughout the entire United States. Uh, Gothic Delta, it'll be in every, it'll, it'll be playing in theaters in every single state. So you might have to drive for it, 2,000 theaters, but it's going to be in every theater, in every, or it's going to be in a theater in every single state. 2,000 theaters. So you're, you'll be able to get to it. Even if you have to drive a few hours, it'll be worth it. All the movie theater workers clean up on aisle five. They're going to walk in. Everyone's going to be like, ah, demons are going to be being cast out and screaming. And the religious people are going to be screaming and mad and boycotting and all that. And it's going to be great. It's going to be good. It's unstoppable what God is doing. Like, I just don't understand it. Jesus literally cast out demons in every city he went to. Like, he, his ministry was marked by it. Mark 139, he went from synagogue to synagogue casting out demons. But then Christian people don't like it. I, I don't understand. How do you love Jesus, but you don't like seeing him set people free? 
We're going to break the taboo, though. We're going to keep preaching it, keep talking about it. You can keep saying all you want. Oh, it's, no, don't talk about deliverance. Listen, listen, Linda, just we're going to keep talking about it. So you're going to have to just fall in love with Jesus and fall in love with the things that he does. It's beautiful to see people get delivered. And that's what the documentary is going to be all about, seeing people get delivered. The film will be out March 13th. January 22nd, I will be in Arizona, in Mesa, Arizona at 10.30 a.m. That's free, 99. There's no registration required. You can just go to my website and find all the info there. That will be my next travel day. I'm gonna get off here in like three or four minutes because these streams, we just jump on and watch it. Tomorrow we'll go over two hours and then Tuesday we'll go probably over two hours, hang out with the chat, answer questions, do all that great stuff. And I'm reading the chat, by the way. No messes left in the theater room. I'm, I'm reading the chat too. I've been reading the chat the whole time. And listen, I love all your guys' comments. Thank you. You know, one person's like, I just don't understand this. We're literally watching The Chosen on my page. It says Isaiah Saldivar. We're reacting and reviewing. And then people come in, they're like, one guy said, oh, you take your face off the screen. Why do you want to be the center of attention? I'm like, dude, my face is literally this big in the corner. If I wanted to be the center, I'd be putting my face in the middle. But again, you're on my page on my channel. So you could go to The Chosen channel and watch it with no Isaiah Saldivar on screen. And I know I thank you all of you that come in and defend me. We love your commentary. I love you guys. I appreciate it. Okay, and I'm not looking for validation. It's just funny how people come in. They're like, will you please not talk? And it's like, dude, the title's literally my review and reaction to The Chosen. Like, I don't know if you missed it here. It's like my, my, my page is my name. It's Isaiah Saldivar. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you thought you were on another page, but you're, you, yeah, you're definitely on my page. So we will not apologize for what we post, what we say, and how we do our content. If you don't like it, you can leave. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. I love you. I wish you'd stay. But if you go, it's all good. It's all good. Just make sure you take any toxicity with you. All right. Praise the Lord. I love you too, Pardita. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and listen, we had 3,3200. That's a big theater tonight watching together. And it's fun to watch together. These are fun streams. I look forward to them. Tonight, man, the episode. I'm going to have to watch that episode again, y'all. I'm telling you, you need to send this episode episode to somebody because it was so good. Dallas Jenkins, 10 out of 10 on this episode. Last episode was a buildup and I'm like, I want to see Jesus. And then this one, phew, it was just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. No, it's not snowing here where I live. I wish it was, but it's not. I know a lot of you are in the snow. Isaiah, why'd you stop posting videos? I didn't stop posting, Marwin. You got to go to my live tab. So now YouTube has videos live and shorts. I was sick since Thursday, so I didn't upload any videos because I was sick, but I upload two to three shorts every day, and then I have a live tab where my videos are, and then I have a video tab. So YouTube changed. They have videos, live, and shorts. You have to go to the right tab to find the videos. But we'll have a two-hour video coming out tomorrow, plus Tuesday, and then we'll have videos coming out through the week, and we'll have videos this weekend. I was just sick with 103 fever on Thursday, so yeah, I wasn't able to put out a video. Uh, it was, yeah, it wasn't good. I was sick. Someone said, no snow, please. Are you talking about the virtual snow or real snow? Ellis, I'm doing good. We love you too. Thank you for being here. We're going to get off here, guys, in just a couple minutes. What a great episode. I'm fired up. Yes, I was, I was sick. I was sick. That's why there's no videos. Is the live show coming soon? Well, tomorrow, I don't know what you mean by live show, but tomorrow will be live at 6 o'clock. And then Tuesday will be live at 6 o'clock. And then Friday will be live at 6 o'clock. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. When I'm traveling, like on the 22nd, I'll be in Arizona. Obviously, I won't be able to watch The Chosen because I'll be in Arizona. Okay, so if The Chosen is airing when I'm traveling, we're going to watch the episode the following Wednesday. Is that okay with you guys? And we'll watch it in the afternoon before your church service. So, for example, the 22nd, I'll be in Arizona. We'll watch The Chosen the following Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. So you don't have to miss church or anything like that. So that's what we're going to do. Have you seen the Insanity of God movie? No, I haven't. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you for all your prayers. I am feeling better. Tonight episode, no chicken allowed for the first 10 minutes. What does that mean? No chicken allowed? Tonight's episode, no chicken allowed for the first 10 minutes. I'm not sure what that means. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome, Gina. My dad is doing good. They did not amputate his finger. They gave him surgery to get the infection out, and some of the medication is making him sick, so continue to pray for him, please. When are you doing the episode of Revival Lifestyle with your family? When the new studio's done, we will do a family episode. 
Yes, that's the thing about this guys. I can't really have multiple people in this studio It's just not the right setup for multiple people with like the microphones the cameras all that the new studio will have four Four people like it'll have a spot for four different people So we'll be able to have more groups on more different people on and then it'll have it'll have anything two people three people four people So we get more of the family on my wife will be on different family members It'll just be more you know what I'm saying chill laid back sitting down on couches talking It'll bring a different side of the content and we'll still do this studio and everything like that. But yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be good. So I'm very excited about that. It's going to be fun to watch. It'll be good right now. Basically all the like um, social media platforms are promoting short content. So basically like if you don't get on board making shorts and I don't really I'm not a big fan of short videos, but it is what it is then you kind of get left behind. So that's why I'm posting two to three shorts every single day in 2023. And then a lot of the podcasts we do in person at the new studio, we'll be making into shorts because that's the world we live in and we want to reach people. So we're gonna have a ton of shorts from that. It's just gonna be really, really good stuff. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for all the love. And you guys that are monthly partners, like literally we couldn't do it without you. We literally could not do it without you. So thank you. Yeah, the woman, the women, the uh, the woman at the well was my old favorite scene of all time, which I'm preaching on it tomorrow. So I'll be probably playing the scene because that'll be cool. I'll play it while I'm preaching on it after or whatever. It'll be good. I prefer longer content. Yes, I do too. I prefer like one to two hour videos and podcasting. But this younger generation has the attention span of a goldfish like in a hurry. So we have to do both the long form and we have long form. We have like hundreds of two hour streams and we'll keep doing long form. We're not going to stop the long form to cater to this generation's attention span because a lot of you, you know, older thirties plus I'm 31. I like long videos. I like like long like videos with a lot of education and stuff like that. So we'll still do that. We're just doing it. We're doing a little bit for everybody because we're trying to reach the world. We're trying to reach everybody, we're trying to reach your kids and your grandma. <laughs> we're trying to reach your, your, your children and your grandma, 13 year olds and 70 year olds at the same time. Marwin, yes, I will be getting him on at some point. So don't worry, the long form will still be here. Here's the thing, guys. I posted a video every single day for the last two years. We posted in the last two years, like almost 900 videos. So this year, I'm going to be posting multiple shorts a day. I'll try to do a video every single day, like a full video every day. But I'm not going to basically like stress myself out of being, I got to make a video because it's, I have to have one done and just making whatever videos. I don't want to do that. I want to just flow with it and not stress about it this year. I went really hard for the last two years. We're going to go even harder this year, but in a different way. But I don't want to like, before I'm like, oh, I need a video for Saturday and Sunday. And it's Friday night at like 11 8 PM. And I'm trying to like make videos really quick for the weekend. And they're just, you know, not what I want them to be. So I don't want to just do that. I just want to post videos when God's telling me to post videos. I want to do my Monday my Tuesday, of course, the Sunday, and then also Friday. I want to post videos. I want to do different content, but I don't want to be like stressed out about it. Like I've had to be for the last couple of years of like every single day I have to have a video out. It's a lot guys to post a video every day. Like right when you're done recording and getting ready, you go to bed, wake up. It's the next day you got to post again. So we've done that for two years. And again, 2023, we'll be posting two to three shorts every single day. So that's going to be like, you know, between 60 and hundred short videos a month. So we'll probably post a thousand short videos this year and then plus the streaming plus the videos that we just make. Yeah. And we'll be doing live a lot too. And the new podcast studio will be doing live. We've said this before live does not get the same love and viewers and algorithm as like views as pre-recorded content, but I just like live. I personally like watching live streams. So my personal enjoyment or like content I consume is like live streams. A lot of videos I wouldn't even watch if they weren't live. Something about the live that just I enjoy. I like talking to the chat. I like engaging. Even in the new studio, we'll have a massive TV with the chat up so I could read. Like I want to be able to read the comments the whole time. So I read the comments throughout the entire video and I want to stay with that live community. Again, the views won't be as high, but the engagement in the community will be stronger if we do it live. Just posting videos, the community's not as strong because we don't have this engagement in this like one-on-one -on -one that we can talk. And live is just live. You just can't edit it. You can't change it. It is what it is. You say what you say. 
and that's it. There's no editing, no cutting, no, oh, I don't like this part, oh, cut out this. It's just raw and unedited. And I like that. I enjoy the authenticity of live streaming. Obviously, I live stream three to four times a week. And I started live, like that's been my like bread and butter, you can say, is being a live streamer. And I think that's one thing that set me apart from other YouTubers or other content creators and why we've been able to build this audience of like, where we'll have four or 5,000. We had 6,500 6, on our stream last week. We've had up to 10,000 on three or four occasions. And I think because we're, because of the time we spend with the chat and the community and the building and talking and teaching and all that. So we're gonna keep doing that. That's not going nowhere. That is not going nowhere. Okay, I love you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow at six o'clock. We'll be on longer. No, this is a green screen. For those of you that are asking, actually, you know what, let me show you. Let's see. Not that. Wouldn't it be weird if I went live like that? Maybe if I'm sick, I'll just go live like this. That's not it, okay. Let me see. Yes, we have a green screen behind us. So, actual green screen, and then boom. Kind of cool. But yeah, it's not, this is not, it's like a, this is not real, this background. The blue light helps out, make it feel real, but it's not real. For those of you watching. There's a little bit of nerdiness for you. But my other lights are real. They're not a green screen. My actual studio lights, the cool looking ones, those are actually real. Love you guys. Amazing episode. I'm gonna have to make a short video from that scene, from that woman with the issue of blood, because that was just so good. Okay, I'll put Carl on screen when I stream ending. Love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow night and then Tuesday night. So you, you get plenty of me in the next few days, okay? Love you guys. Where's the stream ending? I really need to make a button for this because I have so many scenes here. All right, see you guys. Oh, hey, didn't see you. I was just chilling down there listening. If this, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Super easy, super free, helps a lot. All right, so right now, stop what you're doing, hit like. Okay, I'm going back down here. Bye. You heard it there. Super easy, super free. Go ahead and hit the like button. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's never bit anyone. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button. I can't hear the beat, but hopefully I could get him bobbing on beat here. If you're new and you're like, what is this? Uh, we're weird. That's what it is. That's what it is. We're just weird. So don't know what else to say about it. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on, hold on. There we go, we got him on beat, there you go. All right, love you guys. See it, guys. I need to get off here for real, though. For real, though. There's still 1,700 of you on here. Go to bed, please. Thank you. We should name the pigeon. Oh, he has a name. His name's Carl. W Carl in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's like the dancing pigeon. Right, goodbye. Someone said Carl Lentz. I'm dead. Carl. <laughs> Someone said Carl Lentz. <laughs> I can't. Someone said Carl Lentz. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm laughing so hard. I'm, I'm laughing so hard. Oh, I can't breathe.
<laughs> what said Carl was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm still reading the chat. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe, dude. Isaiah, this guy says he'll be exposing you this week. Tell him to enjoy, Kirk. Tell him to join the club, get in line. Isaiah Saldivar exposed. Isaiah believes in miracles. Ooh, he's so bad. He believes in casting out demons. Stay away. <clears throat> get in line. Thank you. One guy wrote me, he said... I'm going to expose you and uh, one of your classmates. I kid you not. This is a hilarious story I have to tell you guys. He said one of your classmates has come out and told us stuff that you did in school that nobody knows about. He said, do you want to come on my podcast and come clean? Or do you want me to expose you on my podcast with this one of your old classmates for some, some abuse that happened? I laughed so hard because the guy didn't know that I was homeschooled my entire life. That's how pathetic some of these people are. I've, I was homeschooled my whole life. I never went to public school. And this guy was writing me saying, I have one of your old classmates. I was like, bro, unless my classmate is my sister or brother, you're, you're, you're capping right now because I literally never went to school and he, he stopped responding. Needless to say, he never exposed me, but it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> he said, I'm your old classmate. I was like, bro, I was homeschooled. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. That is hilarious. I gotta tell that story more often. People are like, I'm gonna expose you next week. Do you have anything you wanna say? I'm like, yeah, you're cringe. That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh man. It's hilarious. All right, see you guys. Just thought I'd tell you that funny story.